Coming soon to theaters near you, The Adventures of Ariel and Audrey. Two girls who entered the world of Civic Mirror are now coming back. Learn all that they discovered about their government, their classmates, their secrets, and themselves. Today they give us a sneak peek of the coming film and share the three biggest secrets that they learned from their experience. I think that one of the most important things that I learned from this experience is that you can't really trust anyone around you. When I was in this simulated world, I didn't share my hidden agenda with anyone. This turned out to be a good strategy because I was able to fill my hidden agenda as a capitalist. I was like Hurricane Ariel, whirling through the game, earning money and property. I, on the other hand, was not very secretive about my hidden agenda, and many people knew that I was a liberal. It was much harder for me to gain more status points because there were many people who knew what I was trying to do and were out to get me. Welcome to the Ingrid von Kleidorf Show. So, these are my guests. Ariel and Audrey, and we're here to talk about <laughs> Civic Mirror. So, you guys had a wonderful experience with Civic Mirror? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Okay, it was so interesting. what was something important that you learned? Well, in Civic Mirror, we were provided with seven family members, you could say, and with them, they we would have to buy like necessary items such as health care, shelter, food, um, pretty much like earn more well-being points and things that are necessary for living and stuff like that. The consequence for not getting these items was death. Death? Did you hear that? Death? I know. It was harsh. It was harsh. In the first year, I didn't provide food, education, or housing for my family members and this turned out to be a really bad idea because three of them died. I'm so sorry for your loss. I too lost three members. My family. Okay, moving on. Tissue, please. <laughs> if only I was able to provide for my family, they'd still be alive. I paid for my consequences. <laughs> Ariel is a sensitive soul, and this tragic adventure has changed her. She was shocked by how quickly people changed, and how easily people that she called friend would betray her. She went through a period in time in which she was very depressed, because people weren't speaking their minds. The most shocking thing that we learned about Civic Mirror was how similar it was to the real world. We returned from the roller coaster ride of hidden agendas, status points, corruption, betrayal, and death, only to find out that the real world was remarkably similar. Take the court case, for example, Carly versus Sammy. Despite the fact that Sammy clearly robbed the government of the money, she was able to get off the case and only had to return a small portion of the money. At the end of the game, the richest citizen had around $12,000, whereas Sammy had twenty-four. Also in Civic Mirror, just like Audrey said, it's like the real world. You can't always get what you want, unfortunately. Like, in the game, my hidden agenda, I was supposed to get lots of property and money. Capitalist. <coughs> Anyways, but I wasn't always able to fill that because certain things were like obstacles in my way. However soon we figured out the way that ra things ran in the simulation. And we managed to make it out alive. alive. Do you want to see more? See the fascinating details of exactly how our two heroines survived the world of Civic Mirror. What really happened in the Carly vs. Sammy court case? How did the oligarchy come to power? Who betrayed who? What exactly happened to Audrey and Ariel? The Adventures of Audrey and Ariel coming to theaters near you June 11th. It feels like we've been living in fast forward Another moment passing by The party's ending but it's now or never Nobody's going home tonight